quarter one. Don't muscle with me. So what is this all about? Hi friends, how are y'all? Happy 2023. I hope everyone's having a great year. Um, today I'm just going to sit down and talk to you about my health, fitness, and wellness goals for 2023. As you can see, I'm in my gym, um, so we're not filming what I eat in a day. But at, since July 2020, my primary goal has been to lose weight and then secondary was to get healthy and get fit. However, in 2023, I'm going to kind of flip that and my primary goal is going to be my fitness and um, just build muscle. I want to see if I can get lean and see some little muscles, you know, something like that. So it is going to be very hard for me though because since July 2020, I have lost about 40 pounds, but I'm currently up from that, 5 to 10, depending on the day, it like changes. But it's going to bother me seeing the scale not be at the lowest it's been since July 2020. So I got my dates wrong. I actually started my weight loss journey in July of 2021 and was at my lowest weight in April of 2022 and maintained until September of 2022. But I'm going to really try to not focus on that in 2023 so much. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to let me like grow back up to my highest weight, even if it is muscle, but I'm not going to take what the, I just keep saying but a lot, right? I'm not going to let this scale number um, dictate how I think my health and wellness journey is going in 2023. Instead, I'm going to focus on taking measurements, um, seeing if I'm getting stronger, visually seeing if I can see muscles and that sort of thing. Because my husband's kind of convinced me that if I really want to build muscle, you know, substantially, I mean, not like anything crazy, but if I want to build muscle, that for one, I'm going to have to eat more, which also may make me weigh more. So, but he says, you know, I may look totally different at 150 with muscle versus 150 with no muscle. And I believe that. I've seen pictures of people like that. So basically, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get my body visually looking the best it can be, even though that scale may not be the lowest it has been in the last couple years. Does that make sense? So we, last night, he helped me out and I'll insert some footage. We did my measurements and that was the second. Today's the third. So in the second, he helped me out and we did three. We have one of those little fat pincher things. I don't know how accurate it is. We're just at home doing it. We got it off of Amazon. Um, he did the back of my arm, my calf, and my waist, and we wrote down, oh, I have it, duh. And we wrote down my measurements there. And so in my waist, and we did it several times, and this is just the average, we got the um, 26 millimeters, the back of my arm was 21 millimeters, and my calf was 26 millimeters. So that is my quarter one little fat detectors. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even say that. I plan to do these videos in quarters. So I'm gonna do January, February, March, go really, really hard, and I'm giving you my measurements right now at the beginning of January, and then I'll give them to you at the end of March. So we'll break it down in quarters. So there'll be overall four videos this year that will be in this type of format to let you know my progress, including photos and all that. I have not decided if I'm going to share my weight and that is not because I'm really uncomfortable with it or I'm embarrassed or anything like that. The main reason I'm hesitant to share my actual weight number is because I know that number for a lot of people will be low and I don't want comments, oh, I wish I weighed that little or oh, you're skinny or you know stuff like that. I don't like that comparison. and. I know I'm not uh, super large and nothing's wrong with that. I just know I want to look in the mirror and feel the best about myself and be the best about myself. So I just don't want judgment, us to compare each other with numbers. But um, if it gets to be where you are really curious and um, you don't think I'll get that kind of pushback or you know people being defensive and all that, 
then maybe I'll think about it. But for now, I'm probably not going to show you the numbers, but I'll share if I've gained or lost. I hope that helps. And just so you know, I am 41, I'll be 42 in June, and I'm 5'7". Okay, so back to the measurements. And then we also just did uh, measurements, not fat, just, you know, an old tape measure, tape measure, um, measuring tape. Pretty much the same thing as a tape measure, right? <laughs> but one's more flexible. But anyways, he measured my neck, and my neck was 12.5. He measured my chest, and that was 38.5. My waist says 34.7, but I don't know about that. I don't know if that one's accurate because that's larger than when I was 35, 40 pounds heavier than the doctor said. So we may have done that one wrong. We'll see. Um, my hips are 36.25. My butt is 39.75, which I'm hoping to increase that number. Um, my arms are 12 and I'm very, I would say they're maybe one of my most self-conscious, self-conscious, areas so i'm really hoping to decrease my arms and then my legs my thigh is 21 inches and my calf is 15 inches and i'm keeping up with all this it's just in the front of my planner again i'll insert a photo showing you how i'm laying it out i have this little girl and i'll write in her measurements and i plan to have him do all my measurements so that way it's the same person and whatnot and hopefully throughout this goal, I'm going to look to try to go to like one of those real body measurement places and see what they say. But I would like to do it sooner than later, but I think it's quite expensive. And with the holidays, we don't need to be spending no more money right now. But what else? Okay, so what am I going to do different this year besides just sharing my measurements? What I plan to do and I've already done is I've set my WW app. And yes, I'm still going to follow WW. That's going to help me keep my nutrition in line and eat the foods I need to be on this weight gain journey. Muscle gain journey. I ain't trying to gain weight, although I'm afraid it's going to happen. Muscle gain journey. Okay, so I set it from weight loss to maintenance, and that automatically defaulted me from 23 to 29 points. But I have in the past figured out with how I eat about how many calories are in a point. So I even increased it to 30 points a day. So in the Weight Watchers app, I'm on maintenance. I have 30 points a day and then I have 21 weeklies. And if my math is correct, that will have me eating around 1600 calories a day, which is my goal except for days that I really lift heavy or I do cardio or whatever, then it'll give me my fit points and I'll eat those as well. And those are the days I'll eat, be eating higher uh, calories and points. You know, I'm gonna really try to eat the points on the day I work out. So that way, if I expended a lot of energy or whatever and feel like I need to eat protein, I'm doing it on that day rather than save the points for a lazy day and go have a cheeseburger that's unhealthy, you know? I want to share my, uh, spread my points out. I want to spend my points on the day I earn my points. I'm going to try that. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to do is my tonal has been broken for like two weeks. I'll show you. Uh, this little ball thing down here, the inside was coming out. The gentleman came and repaired it just now, so I'm so thankful. That's why I'm ready to go. So I'm going to join a program, and I'm going to... Tonal has programs like Get Lean, Get Fit, or Build Muscle. In 2023, I'm going to focus on uh, Build Muscle, and I'm only going to do intermediate or higher programs. No more beginner programs for me. Those are a little bit easier. And typically the programs can be anywhere from four to four or six weeks. <clears throat> so in a quarter, I'm going to do a minimum of three programs. I have to do that. So at the end of the year, I'll have completed 12 programs. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to really try to pick programs that have a higher volume of weight. Typically in last year, I did, I did probably 12 programs into maybe a little less, but not much. 
but then I would pick programs that were like a lot of mix of cardio and weight. So my average volume of weight, I would say is maybe like 5,000 per workout, but now I'm really going to try to up that and hopefully get to like a 10,000 per workout. So that's where I'm at. And I guess, um, if you want to see how I'm doing and see what I'm eating, I mean, tune in, I'm always posting, you know, what I eat in the days and grocery hauls, that sort of thing. I have a few tips video out. I'm currently in a um, series of healthy, I did five healthy breakfasts, five healthy lunch, soon to be five healthy dinner ideas. And they're not specific recipes in any of them. They're more just ideas that can be uh, altered to your liking. So that's what I'll, typically is on my channel, but the next so tune in next time for quarter two and we can see my progress and see um, if I've built any muscle. But I am gonna stand up and uh, I'll probably regret this later, but I'm gonna take off my overshirt and I'm gonna do a 360 so we can see where I'm starting at physically and um, compare it as we go. And I'll put on the same outfit every time. That's one thing I regret in my journey. When I first started WW, I took zero before pictures so the only photos I even have is just like candid photos with friends and stuff. Like I don't have like any of myself showing my body so that I could compare them to where I am now. So, but at least in this year, I should have that. So, okay, I'm putting my legs together or my, the balls of my ankles together so we can see like the gaps or lack thereof, whatever. Okay. Again, putting them together. I'm gonna do a few little flexing, see if we can see anything. Probably not. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to flex. I think you do something like this, right? I don't know. How do you do it? Okay, does anyone know how to do this? <laughs> it would help if I would have Googled it, right? I had to go see something. Okay, let's see if we can grow that. Okay, and then my back. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I hope you tune in next time to see quarter two. I'll show you my results and Talk about what I need to change or tweak and see what's going. Okay, bye.